Hello students, I am Hombini and today we will be taking English for class 3, okay? Today's topic will be chapter 8, that is men discover, men discover flying. So today we are going to learn a very interesting topic, that is we are going to find out how men discover to fly, to fly from the air, okay? So in this, uh, today's chapter is about discovery, okay? That means finding out, finding something new, right? When you find out something new, that is known as discovery. So today's topic will be how men discovered to fly, okay? So after the learning, reading this chapter, we will learn the uh, how how men discover we will know how men discovered flying we will also learn the advantage of flying in an airplane we we will also try to improve our vocabulary okay and also our spelling okay vocabulary our speaking and uh, reading okay now the first is men discovers flying the first is earlier People thought only birds could fly. See, here is a picture of a bird. We all have seen birds, right? They have beautiful wings made with feathers. See here, I've given a picture. The birds are flying, right? They're flying in the air, right? They don't fly below the ground. When we look up, we see the birds flying up there, right? In the sky. So when uh, earlier, that means before we were born, uh, during our grand uh, forefathers' time, people thought, wow, the birds can fly. And they thought that only they can fly. They thought we human beings cannot fly. So they did not try, uh, they did not know how to fly. But slowly, they also wanted to fly like them. People started looking at the birds and then they started thinking, I want to fly as well. So people started, they decided that no, we must also learn how to fly just like the birds. So they tried to make wings. Wings, we all have seen, see here the picture, this part is called wings. So people wanted to fly, so they tried to make wings in order to fly, right? In order to go up in the air. See, here is a picture of a bird flying and see this, pers uh, this person with the wings, he is trying to fly. But we can't fly, we are not birds, right? We can fly like the birds, we will not be able to fly like birds, right? because we cannot grow wings. So what human did was after so many years, like after trying and trying and trying how to fly, the two brothers known as Jacques and Joseph Montgolfier, these are two brothers, okay? The two brothers, they discovered that they can fly with hot air balloon. See, this is a hot air balloon. See the red color balloon. It looks like a balloon. It's very big, okay? Uh, they discovered that they can put some hot air, hot air inside the balloon. And when the balloon goes up, they can sit below that. You see here is a little basket ditch. They can sit there and they can fly like the birds, right? So um, these two brothers, Jacques and Joseph, they made this hot air balloon and they started to fly, okay? And so in 1783, men flew for the first time. It was in 1783, okay? When they made the hot air balloon, it was in 1783. So then people started to fly. That means they started to go up in the air just like the birds, okay? A basket was attached underneath the hot air balloon, see? We can all see this balloon, right? The hot air balloon. Below that, we can also see something, right? Here is a basket, okay? A kind of a basket that um, is um, a basket so big that people can also enter it, okay? They build a basket and they attach it into the balloon, okay? And then, in order for the balloon to blow up, or to fill up, we need the balloon to become big, right? So people started filling hot air, okay, hot gas. Uh, or the, or earlier they were start uh, using gas, but slowly uh, uh, they were using hot air, but slowly they started using gas, okay? 
uh, in order to fill the balloon so that it will go up and the people they can sit in the basket and they can also fly in the air just like the birds okay so it was in 1783 that man started flying for the first time now people till uh, before the 20th century they were using this hot air balloon to, to fly but earlier in the beginning of the 20th century that means uh, well the 20th, we are now in 21st century right but it was just last century see 20th century it was during the beginning of the time that man discovered glider again g l i d e r glider see glider man discovered glider so what is a glider can you all see this picture it looks like a guide right it have wings it looks like wings and see the man is holding something there a rod that is this is known as a glider okay so man started using glider and this was founded by orville and wilbur right okay all all uh, Orville and Wilbur, what they did was they developed this glider into something better, right? See, glider is similar to kite, okay? They, uh, in a glider, a man can sit and steer it to fly. So you hold the rod, there will be the uh, guide like wings attached to the rod, and you will hold the rod and you can direct. Steer means to direct, right? And you can fly. And so, but in a glider, you cannot sit for long. A glider, you just uh, use the uh, guide and then the hol uh, holder, right? But since there is no engine, you will not be able to sit for long in glider, okay? So slowly, a small engine was fixed. People made a small engine and they attached it to the glider, okay? So that and one look after the engine while uh, the other steer to fly, okay? So when people attach the engine, there will be two person to look after the glider while flying. The one person will be looking after the engine while one person will be holding the steering and directing to fly, okay? Now, next is, this took place in the year 17, December 1903, okay? The first time a man used engine in glider was in the year 1903, 1903, and it was on December 17, okay? Now the next is, people started making aeroplane from here on. See, once the engine was made, once the engine was developed and attached to the glider, people started uh, thinking, yes, maybe we can make it, this glider into something better. So they started making aeroplanes and all, and they started using the airplane to fly from one place to another and not only uh, people started flying but they also started to carry cargo see here is a picture of a cargo a cargo are those that uh, the goods which we carry right the goods the edibles and all that people will be needing so people started building uh, carrying cargo and just like we all we, we all know uh, an airboard, right? So people started building airboards for the plan to land and also to take off, okay? People started using airboards and slowly by slowly, man, there are many aircrafts now, right? And so from here on, people started using airplane in order to travel from one place to another. So now, the human's wish are granted, right? We wanted to fly like the birds, now we can fly, right? So, we can now travel easily from one place to another within a short span of time. See, now, for example, I am uh, now in Kohima, but if I want to go to Delhi, I will just book a flight ticket and I can go, right? I can go easily. Within one day, I will be able to reach, right? If I walk by foot, I will be taking years and years and I'll, we never know. I may not be able to reach uh, my destination, but with the help of a flight, I can reach easily, right? Now, people can move easily from one place to another. 
This could not have happened if the people who discovered did not risk their life to fly. See, the person who discovered to fly, when they met the glider, they first tried themselves, right? They first tried to ride the glider by themselves. They risked their own life, right? They risked their own life for us. See, we must be grateful to them, okay? Because they risked their life and they discovered airplane. And now that is why we can travel easily, all right? So uh, that is uh, our chapter and we have learned the discovery of a hot air balloon, we have learned the discovery of glider, we have learned the discovery of airplane, okay? And uh, in this topic we have also uh, seen words like wonder, steer, cargo, dare and all. So we will go word by word, okay, and learn what, are the, uh, what the meaning are. Uh, what the meanings are. Now first is wonder. W-O-N-D-E-R. Wonder. Wonder means to be surprised. Okay. A desire to want to know something. That means, see when uh, the two brothers, uh, they wanted to make the aircraft, they wanted to make airplane, they first wondered, right? They wondered how shall we make that? That is known as wonder, okay? Now next is steer. Steer means to direct the course of a plan. S-T-E-E-R, steer. We all know this steer, right? We all have steering wheel in the cars, right? That is known as steer. Now next is cargo. C-A-R-G-O, cargo. Cargo is a goods that are carried by the plan, okay? Those goods that are carried by the plan, they are known as cargo. Now next is there, D-A-R-E, there. There means to be brave enough. The men who discovered uh, the airplanes, they are very brave, right? We all know that they are very brave because they, they tried themselves, they risked their life in order to fly so that we may have, uh, we can fly easily, right? Now, there are many things uh, that can fly, that can that we see in the sky, like not only the birds and all, but we also see various different things, right? So let's learn what all those are. The first is hot air balloon. See, this is a hot air balloon. It can fly high up in the sky, right? It can go up in the sky and it can fly, right? It does not have a wings. It can also fly like the birds. So this is a hot air balloon. Shall we all spell it? H-O-T, hot, A-I-R, air, B-A-L-L-O-N, balloon, hot air balloon. Next is parachute. See, here is a picture of a parachute. There is one person attached here. And he is flying, right? He is flying like a bird. So it is known as, that is known as parachute, okay? Shall we all spell P A R A C H U T E, parachute. Now, next is airplane. We all have seen what an airplane looks like, right? I'm, I'm sure some of you might have traveled with your families uh, from a plan, right? From one city to another. That is known as airplane. Spelling A-E-R-O-P-L-A-N-E, -E, airplane. Now next is helicopter. See here is a picture of a helicopter. Shall we all spell H-E-L-I-C-O-P-T-E-R, helicopter, okay? The next is glider, G-L-I-D-E-R, glider. Glider, I have shown you in the previous picture, glider, they look like a kite, right? So that is the glider. Now, we have, uh, there is someone, who, uh, there must be someone who uh, found out what, uh, the glider, right? I have told you that there were two brothers, right? Uh, and they founded it in which year? Yes, in 1783, right? They founded uh, the glider in the year 1783. And who are those two brothers? Here, I've given a picture of the two brothers. The first is Joseph Michael Moncoffer, and the second is Jacques Moncoffer. See, these are the two brothers 
who discovered glider and slowly it developed into an airplane. And now we can, because of them, we can fly easily from one city to another, okay? We must be grateful for these two brothers, okay? Now the next is airplane, these two. The first airplane was made by, they are also brothers, two brothers, Orville and Wilbur Wright in 1903. These two are the person who uh, first met airplane, okay? They made our life easier, right? Why? Because they discovered plane and now we can travel easily from one place to another, okay? Now, there are many names of airplanes and aircrafts, okay? There are many names of airplanes and aircrafts. Like uh, in India, we have many airplanes, a uh, name of uh, uh, this aircraft and all, like Air Asia, uh, Indigo, uh, Air India, Jet Blends, Jet Airways. There are many things, right? I, this will be a home, uh, homework for you, okay? I want you to um, ask, your, if you want to ask your uh, teacher, you can ask them, or uh, you can ask your parents, or you can take the help of the internet, right? Or you can uh, take help from anywhere, okay? You can collect some materials also and try to find out the names of various aircrafts, okay? There are many things now, so Try to find out that and write it down in your copy and show it to your teacher, okay? That will be a homework for you. Now students, what did we learn today? So we have learned that, we have learned the discovery of flying, right? We have learned who discovered fl uh, flying first, uh, who discovered glider, who discovered this airplane. We have learned that, right? We have also learned the advantage of flying. What are the advantage of flying students? The advantage of flying is that it saves our time and energy, right? Now we can travel from one place to another and meet our close friends, our parents or anyone without taking more time, right? So that is the advantage of flying. We have learned that. We also have learned some new meanings. We have learned some new meanings like cargo and all, right? We have learned what cargoes are. So these are the new words that we have learned. Now we have also learned the person who discovered the airplane and glider. We have also learned, we have learned who discovered airplane, who discovered glider, who discovered this hot air balloon, right? So, uh, these are the things that I have mentioned in the class. I hope you all have understood something. If you have any doubt, you can go back and uh, uh, listen to the video lecture again, okay? And uh, we, uh, this will be the end for today's class. And I, uh, I hope you have understood something. We will meet in the next class.